Hi, Mr. Johnson here. We're working on the specific heat of metals lab. And uh, in this lab, uh, you're going to need this paper from either the internet or that I gave you. Uh, and follow along because the first set of data we're going to collect together, and then you're going to repeat this two more times yourself. So I'll go through the uh, collection data and the calculations very briefly, and then it'll be up to you. Okay, so um, um, the basic idea is here is that uh, different things can, uh, can hold a different amount of heat. It takes a different amount of heat to warm them up, and that's called their specific heat. Okay, and uh, we are gonna make some measurements today on water and some metals. So I'm gonna put some water in this cup, first of all. Let's get some tap water here. And it's not a lot, this may be, uh, I think I've got about an inch in the bottom of the cup there of water, about that much water. Maybe, you know, a couple centimeters of water in there. And uh, I have to take the temperature of this water. Of course, it came from the tap, so it's going to be about room temperature. And this is going to go under um, TIW for initial temperature of water. So, and that happens to be uh, 23 degrees Celsius. 23 degrees Celsius is the initial temperature of the water. Okay, and then I have a pot here that has some boiling water in it and little pieces of metal. And I'm gonna get a piece of metal out of there and put it in this cup. Now, I've gotta get the temperature of the metal and since the water's boiling, you can imagine that the metal is, uh, you know, is close to 100, and it is. To, get, to be exact, it's at 98. So uh, the temperature initial of the metal, the TEM, temperature initial of the metal, is 98 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to grab that metal out. And this particular metal is cadmium that I'm using today. So you can put uh, down there for the metal cadmium. OK, and now, uh, as you can guess, the water's going to warm up and the metal's going to cool down. And that process is going to stop when they reach the same temperature. So the final temperature of the metal and the water are going to be the same. Okay. Now, the metal weighs you know, probably about as much as the water. So which one do you think is going to go up the most? Or maybe you think uh, one will go up more than the other. Well, um, let's see. As soon as the temperature quits going up, okay, and uh, it looks to me like, well, it's pretty much done going up here now. doesn't take very long. Uh, it's 31 degrees Celsius. So 31 degrees Celsius goes under the final temperature of the metal and the final temperature of the water. So it goes in two places because that's the final temperature of the metal and of the water. Okay, now I do need to get the mass of the metal. That's the mm. So I'm going to just take that and put that on the balance here and find the mass of the metal. Okay, um, the mass of the metal. Okay, got to get my balance on. Sorry for the delay here, but uh, there it is. Okay, so the mass of this piece of metal is uh, uh, 50.95 grams. 50.95 grams. Now, <clears throat> when it's your turn, when you're doing yours, you'll come up and get the piece of metal out of here. There's different kinds of metal in there. The octagonal ones are iron, and there's some silvery cylindrical ones, which are aluminum, and there's some copper-looking uh, cylinders, which are copper, who would have thought, and there's some very heavy spears in there, which are made of lead. So you'll be getting one of those, or two of those, actually, when you do the lap. Okay, so I've got the mass of the metal, I'll take that off. Now I could mass the water, but since I know that the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter, I could just find uh, the amount of water like this, okay? I'm looking here now, I just dumped my water in there. Let's see how much water did I have. Uh, there are 42 milliliters of water, so that means the mass of the water is 42 grams, because water is one gram per milliliter. Okay, and then, I have to go look up the actual specific heat of uh, the metal, which is in the book on page 533. Your paper's mistake and change that to 533. Anyway, uh, for uh, 
actually it wasn't cadmium I'm sorry I used zinc so scratch out cadmium and put zinc and uh, the zinc actual is 0.39 joules per gram per degree Celsius the specific heat of water the CP and the W the CP is a symbol for specific heat the specific heat of water I can also get from page 533 of the book that's 4.18 joules per gram per degree Celsius okay so now I have all the data that I need I'm ready to do the calculations okay so I'm gonna go through the calculations to you briefly so that you'll know how to do them in case you have trouble I'm gonna shut this off because I'm done with this now for my part okay so uh, the metal is zinc we've got that cleared up now so put that under metal Delta T for the M that would be you know what Delta means in this case it means change change the temperature for the metal well the metal went from 31 to 98 so that's a 67 degrees Celsius okay and you can subtract that now find the change of temperature for the water the water went from what to what mm, I can see what the water went to so I'm gonna put that down you put it down on your paper how much the water changed okay now to find the experimental specific heat of the metal we're gonna go back to the top of the page under the discussion and there's an equation up there it says Q metal loses equal Q metal gains well the Q is a symbol for heat so according to the law of conservation of energy the heat that this piece of metal lost was equal to the heat the water gained okay so we can set those two equal to each other now right below those up there on my paper you can see the mass of the metal times the change of temperature of the metal times the specific heat of the metal is equal to the mass of the water times the change of temperature of the water times the specific heat of the water okay and the specific heat of the metal that's what we're solving for that's X so put in all the values that we have there for these and the only one we're not going to have a value for is the specific heat of the metal solve for that and then if you're in the regular class then use the actual specific heat and calculate percent error if you're in the modified class compare that compare what you got for the specific heat by experiment to what it's supposed to be and see if you came close okay and uh, now what you're going to do now is that uh, you're going to repeat this two more times uh, using uh, using two different metals this will be on my desk you can just come up and get them okay and you're gonna go through get the data for two more and then if time permits do the calculations in class and answer the conclusion otherwise the calculations and conclusions are homework